Hello everyone, and welcome back to Cynics of the Galaxy. Yes, today, on this lovely episode, we have decided to taste puddings. Ooh. Uh, yeah, so today we'll be reviewing, um, went out down to a local Tesco and I bought some goo puds. Is that how it's pronounced, goo? Yeah, goo, yeah. Yeah, G-U with little dots over the U. It's that smiley face too for the U. Oh, is that what it's... Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, I didn't know that. Awesome. Yeah. So yeah, do or goo. No, 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 he's good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm going to taste them, uh, rate them, and recommend them if we like them. If we don't like them, we'll be completely honest. Yep. At least I will. I don't know about you, but... We're never honest. Uh, we have... Ooh. Lemon cheesecake. Ah, oh, lovely. Mm. You like lemon cheesecake? Love it. Sorry, that's like a... Dig in first, lemon cheesecake. So give it a taste. I'll, uh, Squirt it about in your mouth a little bit. Everyone see the uh, topping too, so if it comes into focus. There we go, just about. I'm going to tuck in and get some of this uh, crumbly stuff on top. Yeah! Can't wait to finish. Mm. Alright, I'll get another one. <laughs> Jeez. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. That, uh, it's not too strong like lemon, which I like. I don't like. I don't like lemon that hits you in the face. Yeah, lemons do do that. They're violent things. They're known for hitting people in faces. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's not too strong, is it? It's kind of like yeah, got some more. <laughs> no, Go on. yeah, it's, it's nice. It's yeah, it's like you get the lemony hit, but it's not like overpowering lemon. Yeah, I like the fact you get a glass jar too because you can put candles and stuff in it. That's, if, if into that. that's a positive. Yeah. Free glass jar of every goo pudding. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of lemons. I mean, no, I like lemons, but I like not lemon. I eat lemon puddings, but I wouldn't pick it if it was like chocolate or something else over it. But <laughs> I like lemons if there's nothing else to eat. <laughs> <laughs> if there's nothing else on the table or in the fridge, I would eat a lemon. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, the point is, I like lemons, but it's not my first choice. Uh, Fruits. So you'd have to be at the point of starvation before you consider eating a lemon, basically. No, it's nice. Oh, this, yeah, that's not pure oh. lemon, that's nice. It's as far as lemon flavoured products goes, it's nice. Yeah, yeah. I'll give it a, um, like I said, lemon's not my favourite, but this is still enjoyable. I'll give it 3 out of 5. 3. Yeah, yeah. Your rating? I'm actually going to go a little bit higher, I'm saying 4. You're always higher than me. I am. You're higher right now. <laughs> totally, dude. But yes, uh, next up we have everyone's favourite raspberry and white chocolate mousses. Oh god, it keeps getting better. Yeah, so I've got to put this up there. Oh, it's nice. Oh, just you just rocked my world. I, know. Mm, I love raspberries. Raspberries and any, well, any sort of dessert raspberries yeah. in it. It's white. It's red. It looks cool on the bottom, doesn't it? It's like a proper trifle looking thing. I know it's not a trifle. That's the bottom, as uh, Craig points Ooh. out. Ooh, look at that. This, 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 this is getting heavily. more and more like Nigella Lawson. <laughs> We're not really making food, really. <laughs> <laughs> Buying food other people have made and tasting it. Why slave over a stove? When you can just buy it as a shop. Mm, this, is, this is really good. I like well, this. Uh, I would like to find out at some point. Thank you. This is good, yeah. White chocolate and raspberry, probably two of my favourite wow. desserts. You just cut so, the white fruit out, didn't you? Like... So, so together, it's like heavenly. Hmm. One, one more to make sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm here enough. I'm a big boy. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> but no, I like this. It's, it's, yeah. it's really, the white chocolate is really smooth and the raspberry is quite, what's the word? Tangy? Sharp? Yeah, sharp. I like, a good sharpness in the raspberry is uh, what you look mm. for. I've got to admit, I wasn't expecting that texture with the chocolate. Though. I thought it was going to be a lot thicker. But that's actually quite nice because sometimes the problem I have with dessert time in general is that you're often really full, but like, it's sort of a, if you're out at a restaurant or something, you're sort of obliged to eat dessert if everyone else is, kind of thing. And it's like, that's kind of cool. I know you wouldn't have that in a restaurant as such, but... The thing is, if I went to a posh restaurant, well not posh, just any restaurant, Harvester for example, Ooh. 
and I, I had this, and this was on the dessert menu, and yeah. I ordered it, and I tasted it. I'd still be really impressed. I think, yeah. oh, this is really nice. I this, mean, is, this is restaurant quality dessert. Yeah. I mean, you want a massive big, bowl. Of more oh, yeah, I want like this triple the size of it. Yeah, yeah. What'd you give it? Five. Um, for me, I actually preferred the lemon one, not to take away from this too much. Really? But, no, oh, yeah, yeah. But so, I'd give it a three and a half. That's fair. Because yeah. it's, it's near on the same level, but I just think the lemon edge puts it further up there for me. I really do like this. I'm going to give I it... I can see, because you had no trouble finishing it. I left a little bit for you. Oh, thanks, buddy. I'll, I'll, I'll give it a... Um, Christmas. Four and a half out of five. I think that's fair. It's really nice. If you're a fan of raspberry and white chocolate, buy it. Now, we have... Key Lime Pie. The key to limes. I've got to admit, like, I kind of feel like everywhere does key lime pie now. It's like, oh, key lime pie again. But I'm willing to try all new variants of the uh, the same product, essentially. Please, dig in first. Ooh, I like, it's got like a nice texture to the top there. I don't know if that's on purpose, but... Probably on purpose. Yeah. That's an interesting bottom as well. Look at my bottom. Can you just eat? Okay, I'm just analysing it first, visually. You see, you go into a restaurant, you order dessert, you just analyse the look at yeah. the bottom of it. <laughs> may I, the, What's on may the bottom I, of the dessert before I can eat it, you know? May I swig the dessert first? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, one more bit. Just so my body can grow accustomed to the new sensations. Okay. Mm. New sensation. It's a wild ride. Mm. It's kind of like it's like a sort of softer version of the lemon one. Softer, yeah, but you, you can actually taste the difference between lemon and lime. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It's like a, it's not, it's like a little hint of. Zest. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't mean softer in texture. It's about the same, really. I'd say. But yeah, it's uh, it's. it's Pretty damn good. Mm. Yeah. No, I think that's my. I like the moussey bit on top. I, I would say um, I, I prefer this than the lemon one. Really? Wow, man, you're crazy. You really like your lemons, don't you? I do. I just wish you'd grow to accept my lemons a little bit more. No, no, this is nice. I like this. I'm glad. I rate it somewhere between the first two. Um, Ooh, yeah. I don't know. No, very, very soft, and you got the biscuit base, the buttery biscuit. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you know, no, that's nice. I'll, I'll probably give it a. Um, I'll give it a four. <laughs> what are you laughing? Yeah, four out of five. I think it's fair for them. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Don't know. Great. Let's be greedy. <laughs> I can see. This. Come on. Well, I'm gonna go three. Actually, yeah. Mm. So you, oh, so it's your worst one so far. Well, yeah, but it's not. When you say worst, that's like saying, would you rather a billion pound or a trillion pound? Right, like, it's your least good. Yeah, it's the least good or Sure. Okay, and now we come to the big one, the mm, one that it. is. Oh wow. Gazillionaire puts. <laughs> <laughs> so good, the box is black. Which you know is the, uh, you, know, li- you know it's l- luxury. Yeah. Salted caramel, treacle infused cheesecake, and oh. oh, richest ganache yet. Deeply indulgent, as you can see. Oh man, right. I'm getting a head rush at the minute. I think I'm going to enjoy this one because I'm a big fan of salted caramel. Mm. Probably one of my favourite desserts yeah. there is. So anything with salted caramel in it is <laughs> good for me. Oh, look at that. Oh wow, you've got to see that. There's lit- literally little bits of gold on top. It's like, we shouldn't even be holding spoons right now. We should be holding like prospecting axes for gold. Dig in. So you can strike gold. <laughs> <laughs> like just, yeah. I can't, I can't. I'll stop messing around. Wait, it messes around. <laughs> I don't know what those noises mean. Oh. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. that is indulgent. Yeah, 
<laughs> We're gonna fight to death over this in a minute. Not too much. No, this is um not too much. Don't have too much. Um no, this is really nice. I don't know about you, but I like this one. You can really taste the tools of caramel. I can't, I can't even make eye contact with it right now. It's got like these chocolate teeth making crumb me bits, soft bits at the bottom. Yeah. They're going to stop on the way home, I think. <laughs> yeah, chocolate tea biscuit, cheesecake. With cream and chocolate on top. This is good. I'm enjoying this. Yeah. Oh, please. Mm. Just, just a little bit more. <laughs> mm. That's all I want. This is tiny, really good. Just a tiny bit more. Come on. Well, I'm having a well, no, no, I'm having a little bit. Yay! Thank you. But, um, <laughs> yeah, very sweet. Um, that's a very indulgent. But no, that is really, really nice. Um, I could easily eat one of them to myself. Which obviously I can't because he's here. No, I like that. Um, Ratings. It's very sweet, but it's very Moorish, as in you have one spoonful, you just sort of want another one. You want a bigger one. spoon, <laughs> ladle. A bigger spoon and a bigger glass yeah. would be a preferable. Uh, but no, like I said with the um, raspberry one, if I had that in a restaurant, I'd be very satisfied. Mm. I mean, they call it what? Zillionaire? So you know, you, you know, you, you feel rich. You feel yeah. you feel like a celebrity when eating there because it makes you want to go out there and be famous and earn more money, so you can buy more of those and stock up on them. So you open the fridge, and wow, 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 wow they're there. Mm. You know, that's what this pudding makes me want to do. It makes me want to go out and feed the world. So if you if you're rich like a, a zillionaire, you can have lots of cars following you at all times with puddings in the back. Taking it too far, man. Too far. It's never too far on our channel. So, the uh, zillionaire pudding with caramel, and ganache, and cheesecake. Uh, what would you give it out of five? A zillion out of five. Uh, uh, see what you did there. Yeah. Zillion. If, we, if we're just giving real scores, five out of five. Easily. It's just saying there's no way that, that could be perfected whatsoever. That's perfect. Five out of five. You could do nothing to improve it. Well, no, but I could be more perfect in having more self-control and thinking I'd have a few. Yeah, hours. but we're rating the pudding, not rating you. Yeah, uh, but no, I to, to agree with you. I'll, 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 that's definitely my favourite out of the four we mm. tasted. Oh. I'll give it four point. Ah, oh, you didn't go in the whole mile. Go to five. No, I give it a five. Yay! Five out of five. five everyone. That was very, uh, very uh, tasty. I could easily eat another one if I had it in a. Uh, if I had went to the Ritz or Harrods or Hamleys, yeah. right? Hamleys is a toy store. I don't think they can afford this dessert. If I went to the Ritz and I bought this, I'd be like, damn, that's some, uh, that's that's some good Ritz. <laughs> <laughs> Check out the Ritz and no. Well done, Ritz. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, that was our taste testing of Goo Puds. Um, I bought these in Tesco. I believe they were three pounds each. You get two in a box, hmm. but I'm sure they're available in other supermarkets and all good stores. But if they are a good store, they will stock them. That, you, that yes. is true. As I always say, a good store sells good pudding. You always say that. You say from day vice one. Versa. From day one, the first day I met you, I was like, Craig, yeah. I don't know you. <laughs> Welcome to college, but a good store sells good pudding. Yeah. And to, to this day, I live by that. I'm a big fan of goo puddings. Uh, these chill desserts, you find them in the chiller aisle. You don't need to make them or heat them up. You put them in the fridge, you take them out of the fridge, you can eat them straight away. Take the foil off first, though. And take the foil off, yes. Uh, but no, they're very nice. Go out and buy them. My favourite is the Zillion Air Puds because I'm a big fan of salted caramel. But the raspberry and white chocolate was also nice. I mean, they're all nice, but yeah, those yeah. two especially, I, I, I would go out and buy them straight away. Lemon and Zillion Air for me. Not but in that order. You are a lemon, so it is. And I'm a Zillion Air, so we're a match made in heaven. But yeah, please uh, like, comment and subscribe to our channel. If you have any food that you want us to review or taste or rank or do anything with, a bit send, mixable. send us your comments, you know, and we'll see you real soon. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.